God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, well, well. This um this type I haven't done in a minute, just to be honest with you. I've been doing, you know, today is the seventh day of the fast. Praise God, hallelujah. But this right here is something totally different. I'm gonna get back up on here and do that one. But this is definitely separate. This is from God. I'm gonna go ahead and read the um Hold on a minute. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, War on Christianity, ushering the beast system world, word from God in 2020, the Rima word. I'm just going to be very point to the to the point and tell y'all what's going on. And it's not going to be pretty. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I have so much to talk about. First of all, God was talking about um, that. Hold on. Yeah, let me ask you something. Can anybody hear something in the background? Just say yes. Hello. So you do hear something in the background. Say uh, Edward. Edward said yes. I need somebody else to say yes. Because I don't want to speak over. Um, I guess somebody's making a smoothie or something. Okay. So you you know what? Um, I I hate to do it this way, but I'm gonna have to. Let me. Okay. You don't hear it. I don't. Great. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. All right. I can hear it so loud. I guess because I'm in the house. Okay. So praise God. I'm glad you guys don't hear it. So let me tell you what's going on. God said, thus say the Lord in 2020. I've said this before. My God, my God. Let me walk this thing down. God said there's a war on Christianity. I got to do it the way you tell me to do it. Hold on. Revelations chapter 13. Revelations chapter 13. And I got to do it the way he said. Verse 11. Okay. And it says, And I behold another beast coming up from out of the earth, and it had two horns like a lamb. But not only that. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I actually got to go back to 12. Chapter 12, verse 14. And the woman were given two wings to a great eagle that she might try to, to go to the wilderness, where she nourished for a time and a times and a half a time from face to face. 15. And the serpent cast out the mouth water as flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away with the flood. 16. And the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her up and swallowed her up. The flood which the dragon cast out his mouth. Verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. I want to read that one again. I'm in chapter 12, in Revelation 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The woman is the church metaphor. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments. Listen to what I'm saying. Which keep the commandments of Lord, of the Lord, of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. I said Jesus Christ, but I just said Nazareth. Let me tell y'all something. That's it right there. And I'm going to have to say it again. To make war with the remnant. You, everybody ain't the remnant. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Everybody ain't the remnant. Well, let me slow it down. That's say it, the Lord. Then I'm going to tell y'all what's going on. In 2020, people are going to start dropping dead, playing with God. He said, I, I've said this before. He said, everything is about to be exposed like never before. He said, and you judge them by their fruit. He said, you should know. He said, and everybody's not part of the remnant because the remnant keeps the commandment of God. The remnant will stand up for God. The remnant would not compromise. You can't buy the remnant, honey. You, Y'all know what I'm saying? God said in 2020, look out. Right now, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So let me walk this thing out because I get excited. I love God. I get excited. Y'all wondering why? What's going on with Kanye West? They're trying to usher. Ain't no trying. They're ushering in the new world order. You notice he got everybody going together. They want the new world system. So they're using him as a pawn, as a tool. And guess what has happened? Now y'all all on Facebook arguing. The church, huh? Yeah, war. You, you, you see the war that he's made? Do y'all 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 starting to understand what's happening? That's why I'm not addressing it no more after today. Mm -mm. I'm gonna let go and let God, because guess what? That's what you need to do too. Because guess what? God gonna have His way. Meaning that guess what? God made Pharaoh for that day. 
And y'all not going to like what I'm getting ready to say. And God made Kanye for that day. Whatever happened, happened. Y'all think it's a game? Let me tell you something. Christians, get back to serving your God the way you know how to serve. Quit worrying about the issues of the world. They're doing what they're supposed to do. God told me to tell you, are you doing what you're supposed to do? We're supposed to be witnessing. We're supposed to come on somebody. I'm talking about going throughout the byways and the highways, not just in the churches, everybody. Everybody's not coming to church. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And Revelation, we are the church. Come on, somebody. So God was saying, he said, Deanna, they got it all twisted. You see, Satan knows that if he can come into church and divide us and have us fussing about this and that, because truth be told, I'm about to go here. You talking about somebody that loved God. Oh, Lord, I got to go to another scripture. He's not playing. He's making me walk this thing out. Be patient with me, y'all. Because y'all know your, 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 your attention span. Y'all be liking stuff like that. God don't do it like that all the time. Okay, so I got to walk this thing out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, God told me to write this to walk this thing out with you. Okay, so I'm in Luke 9, 23, and it says this, okay? And he said to them, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Woe unto y'all that's following Kanye. I'm shaking that prophet finger. Woe unto you pastors. Jamal, because you ain't no more pastor to me. Jamal, y'all get mad at me. Y'all going gonna to be mad at me to the day I die from now on because I'm, ah, I'm gone. I'm gone. I don't care about what nobody think. Jamal and all y'all other pastors that's letting Kanye up in there, Kanye, because I'm going to read this scripture again. Luke 9, 23. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, Jesus Christ is supposed to, hold on, let him deny himself. Y'all doing that thing the way Kanye say doing it. Now, let me talk to y'all. Biblically, principles. If that was really God ordained, then he would come in and then y'all would give up uh, uh, some kind of word of God and he would submit. Y'all are just going after and doing what he wants doing. It's like he's running the show. Okay, here we go. When there's a conversion, God is in control, not us. That's why he says, deny yourself. He can't come against the LGBT. He can't come against any of his fellow peers. He can't come against this. He, most of you are tainted. Oh, y'all ain't going to like me today. You're tainted. You're tainted. you also tainted with the world, and, and, and y'all get mad when somebody say truth. That's why God says he made me read that. A remnant, the remnant, make war with the remnant. They ain't making war with y'all. Y'all go along with just to get along. The remnant, that's who I am. No. No, no, we see you, we see you, we see you. And hold on, we love you, but we see you. That's what we're supposed to do. You see, let me tell you why the church was so powerful back then. Paul rebuked them. No, no, you can't do this. That's not the way it's done. But we got a, we got a jelly back church right now because y'all see a little money, y'all see a little fame, and oh, they say Jesus. That's what the Pharisees and Sadducees did. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And then y'all want to, oh, y'all judging. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Righteous, righteous judgment. And you better too. Because guess what? God says that the world then came into the church. And guess what? It's war on the church now. They didn't came to divide us. Y'all don't understand. But you can't divide the remnant because we draw to each other. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to have word in you. So basically, this is a dust said the Lord. I'm going to get on here because I got to come back up on here. God told me to tell you count the calls oh wait a minute i gotta i gotta read another scripture oh my god about the great falling away he's not playing he is not playing you guys oh my god this is real this is so real this is so real my god i never thought i would see it honestly i mean i don't know what i was thinking but i really think i was i would see all this in my lifetime but i guess i am praise god okay let me continue second thessalonians and i'm gonna go with verses one through two. It says, now we beseech you, brother, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, verse two, that you not be soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Verse three, I want you to pay attention. Let no man deceive you by any means, for they that day shall not come, except there of falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Hold on, I'm not even finished, y'all. 
my god my god my god i gotta read another one he's not playing he want me to walk this thing out that way I mean, one thing about god you know what god does god allows things so that we can understand what's happening and not only that is written every idle word that you've ever spoken and myself we will give account for we, we have judgment you know that right so he always have it written down so when we get in front of god and all of us going to have to um play back what they say or, or can you bring up what they said that day <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me all right second corinthians 6 14 to 70 says be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness i'm gonna keep on reading 15 and what concord hath christ with belial oh there it is right there Hold on. Or what path hath he believed it with an infidel? 16. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, and God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they should be my people. 17. Wherefore, come from among them and be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. God is not plain, people. God is not plain in this hour. Let me tell y'all something. This is protocol. If that young man was truly trying to be saved, it wouldn't have been done like this. Uh uh. It read that Bible. All you gotta do is read the Bible. It wouldn't have been done like this. But because he's a star, your churches are accepting him in. And but I want to focus on him. I want to focus on what God says. It's a war on Christianity. They're trying to divide us and separate us so they can do what they 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 want away with the gospel. So they can usher in the new world order, God says. And I'm telling you what thus saith the Lord. It's coming. The beast system is coming. The chip, that little chip that they right here or in your forehead. Please don't get that chip. You will not inherit into the kingdom of God. I'm telling you what thus saith the Lord. You get mad. And then somebody asked me, well, what if we get it and then we take it out? That's just like you saying, well, you know, I'm going to get it because I want y'all to kill me. Then I'm going to take it out on my own. Come on. It's a tracking system. So even if you do that, thank you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. They're tracking us now as we speak. They're all, what do you think all this technology? This, let me tell you this, and I got to get off this subject. Here's what God said. Back in the days, Paul them, they used to have to find the apostles and all the Christians to kill them. It would take about maybe a year or two because they had no other way of knowing where they were. They were hit. You have technology now. Can I tell you something? When them people come, oh God, God told me I got to tell you all the visions I've seen. I see so much blood and mayhem and killing. That's why they're allowing it. All these hits, they're conditioning for the mass murders that they're going to do. Your own government and your own army, martial law. Yeah. So what, what do you do, apostle? <laughs> Pray and get close to God. And die like a soldier for Christ and don't die like no punk. Yeah, I said it. Don't be like, give me the chill. And then you're going to hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just raw and uncut. Ain't nobody playing. Y'all better, y'all better get close to God right now. You know, don't be like the masses. Well, I'm gonna live my life till I die. What about afterwards? Where are you gonna spend eternity? And that's all God told me to tell you to say. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. That's what they want. Miss Grace Reed, they want the world one. They're going to get it. It's going to come because one thing God told me to tell y'all. Hold on, hold on. He made me remind myself. Praise God, praise God. Hold on, y'all. It's more teaching that I'm doing than preaching, but y'all know that. Okay, I gotta read. I gotta read this. I gotta read this. I don't know why God want me to read it, but I got to. Okay, so Revelations 13 and 7 says, "And it was given unto him to make war with the saints." And to overcome them, and power was given him all over the kindreds and tongues and nations. That's martial law, y'all. Okay, all right. 13.8 says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. You are seeing mass worshiping because it's supposed to be that way. 13.9 says, If anyone has an ear, let him hear. 13.10 says, he that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. Let me tell y'all something. This stuff is coming, and there's nothing that anybody can do about it because God will allow it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just be strong in the Lord. Get in your Bible. 
pray, definitely walk in love. Don't be moved by all this stuff, what's going on. That's what they want. They want everybody. And my question is this, and I'm going to pose it to everybody. Why is it so easy for them to come and disturb the church? Why? How? How is that possible? Because the foundation, there's a crack in the foundation. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.